We shall remain here. <laughs> Hail, friend! You've come at a good time. I was just hoping to speak with you. Have you heard aught of the masquerades being held in the palace of late? Tis said they are in celebration of the Sovereign's valorous deeds. However, in truth, my mother is merely holding them to strengthen her ties with her closest retainers. But therein lies our chance, for I suspect one among them might prove an ally to our cause, a man by the name of Patrick. Might I ask you to infiltrate one of these masquerades and give him this letter? I imagine that's the most prudent way to go about this. You have my thanks. I would handle this matter myself, but I am afraid I cannot attend the masquerades. Mother refuses to allow it. I will speak with a sentinel I trust and bid that he ease his patrol on the evening in question. Pray, make use of this opportunity to slip into the venue. Patrick will be wearing a mask without a mane, and uh, a blue cape, I believe. Hopefully this information will be enough for you to seek him out. Come to think of it, there has been tell of some important figure from a neighboring country being invited as well. I've not been told much, but any guest of my mother's is bound to be the mark of much attention. Mayhap twould be best to stay away from this figure, lest you attract unwanted notice. You should be going now, friend. You're not meant to be here in the first place. Oh no you don't. You're not allowed in here. I must ask you to comport yourself with the utmost civility while you are within the masquerade hall. I must ask you to comport yourself with the utmost civility while you are within the masquerade hall. Mm. You're far from your station, are you not? I was bored out my skull guard in the palace. I do hope well, our sovereigns enjoy the soil of the longer the better. <laughs> Presume to confound Would that me, do you? All my days were so tranquil. Our first sovereign in decades. At last, we will see the end of the age of proxies. 
Indeed. The Arisen has always been the mainstay of vermin. Only they are capable of repelling the dragon and guiding us to it. What is it? Is there aught you need? Ah, I see. Thank you for giving this to me. I shall pen my answer anon, behind closed doors, naturally. Have you heard? There's to be more restrictions on goods traded with Batal. Apparently, even privately owned items will come to be curtailed soon. Well now, you're... What is it? Has something happened? Uh, we have it on good authority that a suspicious individual passed through here. We need to scout the area. We'll scout all the back. In here. Open up! Dressed rather austerely for a patron. My humblest apologies, Lady Wilhelmina. We've had reports of an unseemly character in the vicinity, you see, and... Preposterous. I was out front till but a moment ago, and I did not see so much as a shadow. Be that as it may. You are excused. Leave this place. Ere you invite our noble host's wrath upon yourself, I will summon you if aught is amiss. Pray forgive me. And what business have you here in the nobles' playground? Hmm? You've the face of someone in search of a juicy morsel. Would you be looking for this, perchance? Come on, then. Keep pouring. Do you take me for some green lad who can't handle his cups? I'm your damned king, and a king deserves royal treatment. <laughs> <laughs> of course, your majesty. Tell us, your majesty, would you prefer more drink, or shall we find some other way to amuse ourselves? <laughs> aye, aye. Let's change things up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I believe I cautioned you to keep your drunken revelry in check. Lest you forget, these celebrations of your valor are but a pretense for more serious matters. I, I know. I do. It's just I get the poison in me and things happen is all. <laughs> you need only serve as our false king until Sven becomes consul. Till then, however, you would do well to remember that your role demands a certain degree of dignity. I trust you understand your position, your majesty. Nay, I, I mean I. As you say, I'll, I'll go and sober up. Why not remove yours as well? This is not the masquerade hall, 
And we now find ourselves quite alone. What say we dispense with such pretenses and speak openly with one another? Lord Phasus. That will do. If you're discovered, yours won't be the only head that rolls. What is your purpose here, I wonder? If you came to learn of the Sovereign, then tis as you have seen. The man is not but a ale-swilling pretender propped up by the Queen Regent. Of course, that begs the question. If he's a mere mummer, then where might our true arisen be? You'd best go. I'll do what I can to help you make your escape. Come see me in my bordelry, when e'er you're so inclined. I'll instruct my attendants to send you straight to me. Do, so long as they're mm. gentle, like. When did I get here? <laughs> Feels eerie with no one back. I could have sworn I had ought to attend to this place is very dreary. I wish life would slow down. Even All this, the latest tidings from Melv came as quite a shock. It's been decades since the dragon last appeared. It was a tragedy to those who suffered the beast's attack, to be sure. But I cannot deny it gave me a sense of hope. I thought to myself, with the dragons coming, the Arisen shan't be far behind. An end to the Age of Proxies at last. And indeed, we have our Sovereign. Though he is yet abed, nursing those grievous wounds. Still that I would see this kingdom restored to rightful rule in my lifetime. Ah, I could weep for joy. So, we meet again. It was eerie with no one about. Let's make haste. Now, so I'll be out this all night. Many happy voices carried on the my shedding. Hmm, must be my winter coat. <laughs> Pray, take yourself elsewhere. Our services are only available to members of this establishment. My apologies for the wait. We grew further apart than I'd anticipated. If I learn of a matter that requires your attention, I shall inform you directly. How might I serve you, Arisen? There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Well, well. He is merely Deesa's puppet then. 
It is likely that he knows naught of her schemes. Even were he to be removed, I suspect some other would simply be made to take his place. But if there is aught that compels my attention, test this other man you mention. Phasus, was it? He seems a man of import, and yet, I have never heard of him. Pray, allow me to investigate this matter further. You've done well, Your Majesty. Thank you. Queen Regent Deesa appears to be working in concert with this Phasus fellow. But what precisely is their aim? Shall we report this development to Captain Brandt? We're here, and none the worse for wear. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen Your Majesty's claim as a true arisen. All shall change once we have attended the coronation. If Your Majesty has any unfinished business to attend to, it is best you do so before we depart. Very well. The coronation is to take place on the morrow. We shall depart early in the morn, so Your Majesty will do well to get a good night's rest. refuses to obey me. There is a voice within my mind. It commands me, sways my very will. Sways your will? Could it be that the gods sway? We must quit this place, Your Majesty. I fear our plans may fall to naught. Let us return to the tavern. The sovereign commanded the pawns at the coronation, proving his own powers arisen. According to Regent King Sven, the pretender was wearing some sort of lavish necklace at the time. I imagine this artifact is the godsway mentioned in that letter. Perchance it is a tool that grants power king to that of the true arisen. It would do much to explain the events that we have beheld afore now. Alas. Unless we find some way to unmake this Godsway's power, proving your majesty's legitimacy shall be difficult indeed. Allow me to speak to the agent we captured some days past. Perchance he knows aught of use. Never could I have imagined such an outcome. What manner of artifact is this Godsway? I suppose tis pointless to ponder. Let us await the results of Captain Brandt's investigation.
It seems we must part ways for the time being. Many thanks. Patrick has already sent his reply. It would seem my mother's tyranny has been weighing heavily on his heart. He has pledged to continue our correspondence and aid me in putting an end to my mother's injustices. This would not have been possible without your assistance. I am afraid I cannot offer much in the way of recompense, but pray, take this. Not at the expense of my duty. Sometimes I wonder if I'm caught. I'll teach him a lesson they won't soon forget. 